Hello everybody, Mustafa's Movie Corner here. And now, um, as Yami remembered in yesterday ago, um, I did my completed VHS collection, which, um, that was my final time that I get to show you all my Teletubbies VHSs because I won't have to show them to you all ever again since my VHSs has, has now been complete. But I saw for another collection video. This time it's for my Teletubbies DVD collection for the 2021 edition. And as y'all can see, um, my DVDs has been increased that much that the ones I have now, rather than last year ago, um, if I say that was because um, last year ago, um, I've been increasing to get a lot of more Teletubbies DVDs, which I find them a lot more because before they went officially go out of extinct, which I think those Teletubbies DVDs are now getting out of print and extinct for y'all to find, which in last year ago, as I said before, I think I've been increasing to get a lot of more Teletubbies DVDs before they went officially go out of extinct, which they already now out of print and extinct so that's why my dvds has been increased that much that the ones i have now which better of course well then already then so like for about for any further ado um i'm about to begin my teletubbies dvd collection for the 2021 edition here we go first up i'm going to begin if the only two that i have are from one home video and this first DVD I'm showing is the first Teletubbies DVD ever created and re released to that overall. Baby Animals. Cricket. Oh man, it's cricket again. My apologies. Year. Here's what it looks like. Here we go. Next DVD. Silly songs and funny dances. The last one I have from the home video. Um. As far as I know, um, I know there were more Teletubbies were a home video DVDs for me to get, which I never had, which those are more I need to get, but as for the Paramount re-releases that took the rights after since the day originally from one home video, um, I might as well be sticking to the only Paramount releases instead rather than Buying and other copies from Warner Home Video ever since I like Paramount better than Warner Home Video. So, so yeah, because of that, I just didn't feel like wasting my more money just to get an air copies of Teletubbies DVDs just to get original Warner Home Video prints ever since I like Paramount releases than Warner Home Video. So, I've just decided to stick the only two are from Warner Home Video while I'll be sticking to everything there from Paramount which I'll be sticking to the different versions I have on VHS. So yeah, I'm not even going to get another copies just to get the Warner Home Video. I might as well stick by having the which I mean, I might as well stick to the only Paramount releases since I do like Paramount releases. So that's the way I'm going to be doing it. And as for the Paramount releases, we are now going to begin with that next. So, this next DVD, again, again, Terrific Times and Fantastic Fun, I mm, might as well move better, so, or, maybe I might as well do this instead.
next DVD. Here come the Teletubbies. This one comes in a wide casing, so plusy enough, which is good. This one is hilariously weird for some reason. Um, look at the disc. They even don't have their TVs in their stomachs. Yeah. How weird is that? It does have it on the case, but not in the disc. Next DVD, look, playful patterns and simple shapes. Um, because of this sticker right here, um, I'm guessing that this is a former rental from Hastings, or I'm guessing that this is a rental from um, some numb video store. Well, I know it could be from Hastings, but I could be wrong though. If any of y'all think I'm wrong, um, let me know down in the comments. And I'll try to figure that out. So yeah. This next DVD. What's that? Delightful dances and silly surprises. Next DVD, The Magic Pumpkin and Other Stories. This was my only Teletubbies DVD I bought from a trip store. Um, as far as I know, everything else um, I bought from eBay, Amazon.com, and Amazon.ca. Um, this is the only one I got for me trip store five village which as far as i know um those teletubbies dvds are now um getting rare and harder to find at a trip store for nowadays which lucky for me i was lucky to come across with this dvd for me trip store five village back in 2018 so yeah i got even lucky at all Nope, I am definitely not going to go for this parent's guide. Um, I even already showed him to you all when I do my completed VHS collection, if y'all may remember it yesterday ago. So, yep, I'm definitely not going to go for this parent's guide. Nope, it's the same one. Y'all already know that. Because I already showed it to you all in my completed VHS collection, as I said before, so... Definitely not going to show it to you all again. But like right now anyways, this next DVD. Christmas in the Snow. Next DVD. Naughty Nunu, Messy's Mrs. Messy Messes and Terrific Tiding. There's the name on the disc, but it's my DVD now. Next DVD, go exercise with the Teletubbies. Ooh, springtime surprises and magical moments. The next DVD I'm showing to you all right now. Next DVD, All Together Teletubbies. 
playful pals and delightful days. Nope, not showing y'all this parent's guide again. It's the same one. Including this next DVD right here, Blue Sky, Fantastic Friends and Springtime Surprises. Hmm, I might as well show y'all this, but not the, not this parent's guy. Nope, not going to show you all that, but I'll show this. I got this DVD brand new and sealed from Amazon.com back in 2018. All right, next up. I am going to begin with the stuff that was actually never released it on VHS at all. So this next DVD, All Fall Down, Funny Friends and Terrific Tumbles. The casing on this DVD is in very bad condition. A lot of rip and torn on the cover, but the disc is, however, intact. Yep, very intact. No hardcore scratches. Count the same issue for my. 2007 DVD of Nick Picks volume. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Nick Picks volume five, which um, the covering is in very bad shape with a lot of torn, ripped parts, but the DVD was intact. So, yeah, including this one right here. So yeah. Now this next DVD, time to play. Here's the last Teletubbies DVD from Paramount, which it was the last one to be created from Paramount. Time to dance. For this one, um, I actually did have to um swap out the DVD case because for this one, um. The DVD case was broken, like this spot right here, like it was broken, so I had to replace it. So, yeah. Alrighty then, and now we get into the Sony Pictures Home Entertainment DVDs, which this last one I'm going to be showing is like... A real official deal, which it was released on stores. Teletubbies fan favorites, 20th in the nursery, with over eight hours of fun. My only real Teletubbies Sony Pictures Home Entertainment DVD, which all might be sticking with, which because of this, um. All of the other Teletubbies classic Sony Pictures Home Entertainment DVDs, they all have episodes in low pitch, which I don't even like Teletubbies which are in low pitch, but for the other Sony Pictures 
home entertainment DVDs like which I have are in homemade and they even have episodes which are in normal pitch which we'll get into in a second but this is the only real official one that I'm showing which it was released in its stores including the others which I'm not going to get because y'all already know why. Since this is the original 2017 copy of this DVD, um, I'm not done with this yet because I do have another copy of Teletubbies Classics Fan Favorite with over 8 hours of fun DVD. Yep, this is my another copy. Um, unlike the main one I had, um, here, let me show you the difference of the covering. And... This, yeah, because that DVD copy I bought from Walmart, it's a Canadian release with um, French wording, or even Spanish, um, I don't know, maybe it's French, yeah, it had the Canadian covering, while this covering I customized, um, it's a USA release. And, um, the spine was unfortunately not good, which I did this customize on my own, but that's all right. As far as I know, I can live with it. This DVD is a re release from 2021, which is, um, this year. Um, Originally from 2017, which I already showed you out the original copy, but this DVD is a re-release from 2021, which this is my homemade copy, along with the others right here, which we'll get into in a second. But here's this, my homemade DVD guide for this DVD, which... Hmm... I'm not even gonna bother reading the episode, um... I'm just gonna make y'all pause the video and read. And here's this release date right here. Yep. And the disc. Disc one. And disc. Disc. Hold on. Let me just take out the disc. Here we go. Here's, um, Disc 2, and here's, um, Disc 3. Yep. Alrighty then. The last but not at least, four of them I had recently. And here are the ones I had recently. Um... I'm planning in May, I, or actually I should say in May, um, I think I might be planning on customizing more homemade uh, to be classic Sony Pictures home entertainment DVDs, which I hope y'all are being prepared what they are, and because of the new ones that, that which are never been released at all, I uh, might as well be customizing those, so hopefully the 2018 videos, which I uh, might as well be making in May, and along with the new titles, which are never been released, which I uh, might as well be customizing those, like, which next time or so, so if hopefully I'll just be a lookout for this, so I hope you all are being stay tuned or be tuned for that, so, hmm, and if Hope that if any of y'all are being patient because I didn't feel like doing it now, but I might as well be doing it in next time, the newer titles one, but the 2018 videos, I might as well be doing in May. So stay tuned, everybody, and be prepared and be patient. Don't try to keep forcing me to do it now because 
if y'all force me to do it now, like right now, quickly or immediately, um, I might as well remove y'all the comments and block any of y'all. So don't try to rush me on that. Or you know what it might happen. So yeah. This next one is making music. Great. I just realized that I ended up showing y'all the these DVDs in the wrong way, which I actually never know what, what I was doing. <sighs> Great. I should have supposed to show this one first, but I guess I ended up showing y'all those in the wrong way, but <sighs> oh well, I might as well be showing y'all in the wrong way like this. And then, and if hopefully next time, um, we now might be planning on doing my updated collection. I uh, might as well try to remember if I can show y'all in a right way. But, oh well, since if I ended up showing y'all in the wrong way, then here what it looks like. My apologies. I didn't mean to do that. For this DVD, um... I'm thinking I'm planning to watch this um later on or tomorrow. So yeah. Just trying to get this DVD guide in. The homemade one to be exact, just checking on it. Alrighty then, here's the final DVD. Learning Colors. Hold on, I might as well have to put this DVD guide back in. And here y'all have it right now. That is my Teletubbies DVD collection done for the 2021 edition. Um, I hope any of y'all are enjoying this video. And as soon as I customize more of my homemade Teletubbies classic Sony Pictures Home Entertainment DVDs next time, like as for the new titles, while the 2018 titles, which I might as well be making on May, which hmm, I think I might as well be planning on doing my updated collection in next year, but not the VHSs because, as I said before, my VHS collection has been complete, so there is no way I'm gonna, going to do my completed collection and next year, since my features has been complete and I've already showed them to you all one last time. So, nope, not going to do my updated collection on that, but only for the DVDs, which I might as well be planning on to do in next year. After when I customize those more homemade Teletubbies classic Sony Pictures Home Entertainment DVDs, which I hope you all being prepared, be patient and stay tuned or be tuned on that. But like right now anyways, um, I thank y'all for watching and I will see you all in a next upload.
This is Mustafa's movie corner signing out.